Okay, right. So we've got um, our seating sheet, sale sheet, and cost sheet, and everything should automatically update as we um, change things in the sheet. Um, we've got to add a um, profits page now. So we know how much money we're getting in. We know how much money we're spending. So we're just going to add a new tab here, and we're going to call it profit. And I'm going to put a little title here. I'm just going to call it sales and costs. Okay. So we need to get the sales figure that into our profit sheet here. And if you remember, we do it in the same way as we did when we were getting the value for the seating into the sales sheet. Okay, so exactly the same way. So we start with an equals. We click on the sales sheet. I'm going to click on 430 because that's what I want to bring through. And then you just press enter. And you can see it's come through. And then we do the same with costs. Equals. Go into the costs. Click there. Press enter. Okay. Although for some reason that's come through without the pound sign. So I'm just going to go into format and just check that it's currency. There we go. Okay, cool. Two decimal places and that one isn't. So I'm just going to make them both the same because if they're not, it doesn't look very good. So we'll say two decimals. Okay, cool. So to get the profit, very simple. Profit is what you've got left over money-wise after you've done your costs. So we want to do equals and we want to do our sales. Take away our costs. Okay. So at the moment we're making £200 profit for our theatre. Okay. Now we could go a little bit further. I'm just going to tidy this up again. And we can use something called conditional formatting. So what this means is if we are over, over a certain amount of money, the cell will turn, say, green for positive. If we're negative, it will turn red. So I'm going to click on the cell. I'm going to type in formatting. You can see it's coming up. I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to say highlight cell rules. And I'm going to say if it's greater than zero, we want the cell to go green. Okay. All right. And I'm going to do another one. So same thing. I'm going to click on the cell. And I'm going to say if it's less than zero, we'll go red. Okay. So at the moment, profit is green. Okay. So we can test this out. Let's say, for example, we... I'm just going to kind of... Um, this won't be quite right, but I'm just going to do it manually. So let's just bump that up to a thousand. Okay, if you've got validation, uh, that may come up with an error message, but you can dismiss it. So this is the costs now. And then if we go to the profit, oh, you can see it doesn't like that at all. So I'm just going to enlarge the cell. If you get that, it's because it's too small. So now it's automatically gone red because we're spending more than we're taking in. Okay, so I'm just going to undo that. And that will go back green. Okay, so we've got conditional formatting. All right. Um, so again, if you can apply that to yours and do any other formatting like tables and things just to make it look um, solid to make sure you've got things like headings and so on. Okay, once you've done it, test it out. So remember, you should see if you put in a ticket, you should see everything change automatically. Okay. And yeah, profit's gone up at the end there. So if that happens, you know you've done it correctly. If it doesn't happen, just go back and check all your formulas, okay, that you're bringing in things from, for example, different sheets. See up there, I'm bringing that in from sales to make sure it's all connected.